welcome to the session uh, in this lecture we'll start unit 3 unit 3 is all about ic biasing and differential amplifiers uh, so there are basically two parts uh, ic biasing and the other one is differential amplifiers now we'll first look at ic biasing so in last two units we discussed um, bjt as well as mosfet and we have seen various biasing techniques and the most popular biasing what we have seen in last uh, units is voltage divider biasing which we applied both to uh, BJT as well as MOSFET and when we say voltage divider bias actually the bias which we are giving there is a constant voltage biasing we are applying a constant voltage biasing there but in integrated circuits most of the times another biasing is preferred that we used to call it as constant current biasing because of many reasons uh, we are not uh, discussing that now we will see how I, uh, we can bias a BJT or a MOSFET using a constant current so constant current biasing or biasing using a constant current source <clears throat> we have seen in uh, in the previous classes how we will bias a MOSFET or BJT using a constant current uh, if you look at this particular circuit maybe this is the resistor RD mm, gate is connected through some gate resistor and we have seen this as a constant current source and we biased Mm, if you see in many circuits we have taken this kind of biasing this can be either a ground point or a negative reference source so this i is nothing but a constant current source now how can it uh, how can it develop a constant current source that is the whole discussion in this uh, particular lecture so how can i implement a constant current source i or if you uh, look here what i'm uh, trying to see is how can i implement this constant current source i for that uh, we use uh, again we use MOSFETs only so I'll start with the MOSFET circuit so that also I'm using a MOSFET and the the main idea here is I'll short the drain and gate of the MOSFET together and such a configuration is known as diode connected load that we already know and the speciality here is whenever I uh, short the gain and drag together the MOSFET will be always in saturation now uh, from VDD I will connect a resistor uh, say some R and this is connected to VDD and this point is connected to ground and here I am connecting another MOSFET both sources are connected together and I'm calling this as a Q1 and this as Q2. So Q1 is basically the main device here, who's uh, who is a diode connected structure of MOSFET, diode connected MOSFET. So the idea is how I can generate this uh, current source I, how I can uh, specifically generate the uh, constant current source I. <coughs> So, uh, if I uh, since this uh, transistor is Q1, so mark this current as say ID1, and uh, say some current is coming from here, I am calling it as reference current. And we know that the current flowing in this direction is zero uh, because the current through the gate of MOSFET is zero. Uh, in that case, <coughs> how can I write ID1 here? ID1. ID1 is a drain current of uh, transistor Q1. So since it is in saturation, I can write it as half mu and C ox W by L. Since it is uh, Q1, I am calling the W by L as W by L of 1 and VGS minus VT the whole square where this is actually the VGS. You can call it as VGS or VGS1. So what uh, what I did here is since both are same. I am considering both as VGS1. 
So I have taken the current equation here where I neglected channel length modulation by assuming lambda is equal to 0. That is basically my ID1. ID1 is a current through the MOSFET here. Now if I look at the reference current, so since the current to the gate is 0, I can write ID1 is same as IREF. I am calling that as reference current. And, and IREF is equal to, if you look at IREF, IREF is a current through resistor R. So I can write it as VDD minus the voltage at the this point. This point is nothing but VGS divided by R. So VDD minus VGS by R is the uh, reference current there. So here the current through R is considered as a reference current of the current source. That is why I denoted it as IREF. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, now if I look at this particular current ID, uh, since this is uh, transistor Q2, if I look at this current ID2, um, what will be ID2 here? So if I write ID2, ID2 is equal to, I can write ID2 as again, uh, since it is a drain current of the transistor, um, ID2 can be written as half. And uh, still I am assuming Q2 is in saturation. So it is equal to half um, mu and C ox. Since it is second transistor, I am calling this W by L of 2, which is minus vt the whole square that is id2 and uh, since uh, i am assuming both transistors in saturation both are having same vgs in that case the current also will be same so id1 will be equal to if vgs are same if both having same size uh, it will be the currents will be uh, same only so as of now id2 is equal to this value now here the idea is uh, the whole idea is I want to uh, generate a current or I want to bias this transistor say this uh, Q0 transistor using a constant current source and that current that I current I am generating using some other circuit that is this circuit and I am calling so I am connecting this point directly to uh, to the source of transistor Q. So that your ID2 is your I, reference current I. Right. So now, so I have, so what I have done here is, I have taken, I need to bias the transistor uh, Q0 using a constant current source I. And the whole idea is, I am trying to implement I using some circuit here. And for that, what I have uh, taken is, I have taken a MOSFET connected as a diode connected structure, connected to a resistor there. And so the so that through this resistor I'll get a reference current. That reference current is VDD minus VGS by R. That is same as ID1. Now if I connect another transistor Q2 with the same VGS, then that will generate a current ID2 will be equal to half mu and C ox W by L of 2 into VGS minus VT the whole square. Right. Uh, so this becomes this ID2 becomes the reference current I actually. So ID2 becomes I for biasing the transistor Q0. So uh, if you want a better understanding, I can just redraw the circuit as this was the original circuit which I have. This is VDD, this is RD and this is Q0. Say this is, we are not bothered at this part. Now, in order to generate this, that I have done uh, using this part. So, this is ID1. This is the reference current. This is VGS. This is ID2, which is my reference current. So, this is the basic idea. So, what we have done here is I have a reference current here, and the reference current is actually replicated 
uh, to the another transistor which is connected to the source of the ZEPO transistor. So such a circuit which uh, mirrors the current to some uh, different branches are known as current mirror. So current mirror is a circuit which mirrors or uh, replicates the current into different uh, MOSFETs or uh, different transistors in an IC. And this is a popular biasing. Why we call this as constant current biasing is actually here this current, this current I is a constant current because the VGS here is constant and that we, a constant VGS uh, is in, in turn creating a current here which is a constant current and that is used to bias the transistor Q0. Right. This is Q0. Now, so if I write the relation, I can write the reference current I as reference current is I which is equal to reference current I is equal to uh, your ID2 where ID2 is same as ID1 right or if I uh, so I will write it as half mu n C of W by L of 2 VGS minus Vt the whole square and uh, what is the reference current reference current is same as ID1 so this is same as ID2 and this is same as ID1 this half mu and C ox W by L of 1 VGS minus Vt the whole square so if I take the ratio of this I by I ref is equal to W by L of 1 by sorry W by L of 2 by W by L of 1 or I can write I the constant current is generated from the reference current purely dependent on the aspect ratio of two transistors W by L of 2 and W by L of 1. So this circuit this popular circuit is known as current mirror and uh, uh, generated constant reference current uh, constant current is actually uh, we can say it is a multiple or a fraction of reference current and it is purely dependent on the ratio of two W by L of 2 transistors. W by L of 1 is equal to W by L of 2. Uh, we can say the constant current is same as the reference current. Or if I want uh, some uh, multiples, we can choose the W by L of 2 and 1 in such a way that I can get accordingly different reference. So, so uh, particularly in an IC, if I want different currents to bias different points in an IC. For example, if I have uh, many transistors uh, which I need to uh, bias using different currents here, all these currents if they are different. So if I have a reference current, I can get the different multiples of reference current by properly choosing the size of all these transistors and get that current accordingly. Right. So this circuit is known as uh, a current mirror circuit where it mirrors the current into different points in an IC. Yeah. So one one more important thing we uh, neglected channel length modulation here. If I am considering channel length modulation, uh, one extra parameter will come here. Mm, that will be one plus lambda VDS two, and here it will be one plus lambda VDS one. So even in the ratio you will get that factor 1 plus lambda VDS2 uh, divided by 1 plus lambda VDS1. Okay, so I just go through. So what we have uh, discussed in today's class is how to um, design a MOSFET, how to bias a MOSFET using constant current and how to generate a constant current that is basically through the circuit known as current mirror. Okay, thank you.